The New York State Department of Education is calling off the U.S. History and Government Regents exam next month, citing the mass shooting in Buffalo last month that claimed 10 lives. The department says it's looking for ways to support students across New York. During a review of the exams, officials say they found questions in there that might, quote, compound student trauma, and there's no way to modify the tests in time. Christian Garzon looked into this today. He joins us now with more. Christian. Well, Commissioner Betty Rosa wrote the letter and sent it to school districts across the state, saying the exam was developed for two years and field tested, but the, quote, tragedy in Buffalo has created an unexpected and unintended context for the planned test. Rosa says it will not be possible to produce a new test with new content or to modify it. Instead, the department is going to ask the Board of Regents to approve an exemption for students who are scheduled to take the exam in June and August of this year and for next. Superintendent Sean Van Scoy with the Gananda Central School District says he's surprised it's being canceled, but at the same time, he's glad the board is being responsive to what's going on in Buffalo and making decisions based on kids. And no surprise, he feels most high school juniors will welcome the chance to not take the test. But the why here, or whatever questions might have been tough for students, is not known. Don't have a lot of details on that. Our understanding is that they reviewed all of the Regents exams looking for questions that could be an issue resulting in the cancellation of the U.S. history test. Don't know why specifically. We know that the tests have been printed so they can't change the test at this point. They're printed and ready to be delivered to school districts so there's no opportunity for them to change the tests or eliminate a question is our understanding. The students were supposed to take the Regents on June 1st. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. We have the full letter, by the way, from the Department of Education over at our website, rochesterfirst.com.